So in this video, I'll show you how to create a new Google business listing for your company and how to deal with some of the issues that might arise after you create a new GMB listing. GMB, Google business listing, is just a shortcut, so I'm going to use those two words interchangeably, uh, so get used to it. The reason why we want to have a GMB listing is because in this day and age, uh, it's absolutely necessary. It's necessary for people to actually find your business and it's also a really great tool if you want to get more customers for your business. Now, in order to get full benefit of having a GMB listing, there's a lot of things that you actually have to do. You need to have a really well-built website that's optimized for SEO, your GMB listing has to be optimized, and there's a lot of different factors. And that's something that I'll cover in other videos. But this video is supposed to be like the first step that you have to take in order to have uh, in order to actually get some results. Now, in order to get excellent results from your GMB listing, there's a lot of different things that you actually have to do. You need to have a really well-built website that's optimized for SEO. Your GMB listing has to be properly optimized. And there's just a bunch of different factors that uh, come into play when it comes to ranking high on Google and getting more customers from Google. But in this video, I want to show you that first step you actually have to take in order to do anything else. What I'll also discuss is how to actually overcome some of the issues that you might face when it comes to creating a new GMB listing. But that's something that we'll get into later on. But for now, uh, let me show you how you can actually create a new GMB listing. Type in business.google.com. Click on the first link. Click on the sign in button in the top right corner. And then log into your Gmail account. Once you log in, you can click on add your business.google. It's the blue link. And then fill out this whole form and you will create a new GMB listing. Now, what Google is recently trying to do is they're trying to uh, remove Google business listing dashboard. They're trying to remove, I mean, they actually already removed the GMB app. So they're trying to make business owners use, you know, access their listings actually through Google just by searching for you know, your business name and all that so that you can manage it straight from the search. But in my opinion, I don't know if it's because I'm, you know, too used to that stuff or, uh, you know, if uh, I'm just way too old school. <laughs> I, I hate using, uh, you know, Google search in order to manage the GMB listing. I love going to business.google.com and then managing it from there. Now, what I noticed recently is that Google is trying to, uh, I won't say that they're trying to remove the postcard verification method, but for some reason they're trying to push you to verify your GMB listing using, uh, you know, your phone number or your email address. At first, this seems like a really excellent option because it's much, much easier than waiting a couple of weeks to receive a postcard. But actually what happens is because probably because these methods are a lot easier, it's also a lot easier to get your GMB listing suspended after you verify. And then you have to go through the whole reinstatement process where you have to contact your GMB support and all of that. And that's just horrendous and it's really difficult and it takes a lot of time. Now, if Google tries to force you to verify your listing via text or via email, what you can do to avoid that and to request a postcard verification method is you can just remove your phone number and your website from your Google business listing before you verify it. So you can remove the phone number, you can remove the website, and then when you go to request verification, then the only option that's left would be the postcard verification method. So once you request the postcard, once you add your address and all that, then you just uh, you know add the website and add the phone number back in before you verify the listing. Because if you add that stuff after the GMB is verified, then there's a high chance that either you're going to get suspended before it gets verified, or um, it's going to get suspended after it's verified. It's just super easy to trigger GMB suspension, so I would definitely recommend you to be really careful when it comes to modifying the information that's on your GMB listing, especially after it's live. Before it's live, you can modify whatever you want, but after it's live, be careful. Now what you can do is if you don't receive your postcard within, I don't know, 20, 25 days, what you can do is you can request another verification postcard and uh, usually this does fix the issue. It usually takes you up to maybe two weeks uh, to receive a verification postcard. They say it's a couple of business days and I don't know, recently only in rare cases can you verify your GMB listing in only a couple of days. Um, but usually it can, it can actually take uh, very frequently up to three to four weeks. So I wouldn't rush to resend the verification postcard, but at the same time, I wouldn't wait too long either. Now, in case your GMB listing gets suspended, what you can do is you can actually file a reinstatement request form. And I'm going to link to that form in the description. What you should do is just click on that link, 
fill out that form with as much information as you possibly can and make sure that all of the information that's on your GMB listing actually compiles uh, with Google's guidelines. And when you fill out the reinstatement request form, I also definitely recommend you to submit additional evidence uh, to that form so that they can actually see that your business is real. And by additional evidence, I mean uh, your business uh, license document, for example, that shows your business name and your address at the same time, or any other business documents that just show your uh, business name and your address on the same place. So that this way they can actually see that your business is registered there and uh, you know, that should fix this issue. After you submit the reinstatement request form, you should receive an email from Google that says we received your request and all that and we'll reply to you as soon as we can. If they don't reply to you in 10 days or so, follow up with them actually on that same email. Once you submit the reinstatement request form, Google is going to send you an email that says, uh, we received your request, uh, we will get back to you as soon as we possibly can. And what you should do in case you don't receive a reply from them in the next 10 days or so, you should follow up with them on that same email. And usually this that gets them to reply to you as soon as possible. And that's basically how you can get your new GMB listing live. And if you run into any of those issues, I just explained how you can actually fix them. So if you have any questions or if you encounter some weird issues, please let me know in the comments. I'll be definitely happy to help. I can't put enough information in one small video, but uh, I'll record new videos in the future that show you more and uh, give you more advice on how you can optimize your listing, what you should do next in order to get more customers and uh, get much better results for your business. So thank you for watching and definitely let me know if you have any questions.